rule of thirds, symmetry, uh, stuff like that. Um, and then we went and did like a, a demo of just how to use Lightroom. And I did like a live editing thing. And so we just kind of like picking up from there. Oh, you're um, sharing your screen. So when they share their screen, do they pop up as the main presenter? Uh, I think you, did I do something? My whole screen just went black. Is that you sharing the screen? I think that's, uh, who is that? That is. Or is that my computer? Like, I'm literally black. I can't see anything. I don't know. Did you, um, is this, was, was your picture the one with the flag? Okay. Is this anybody's picture up here with the flag? Do anybody see that picture? That Where? Is this your picture, Rob? The one with the flag? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a really nice picture. But can you uh, unshare your screen real quick? We're trying to figure out how to, um, how does yeah. that work? Okay, cool. Are you still sharing your screen? I don't think so, no. Okay. Okay. Well, well, we could just do a check in. So, how's everybody been doing? What you guys been up to? I've been, I've just been practicing basketball all day. You say you did, you be practicing basketball all day? Yeah, that's that's basically what I've been doing all day. Okay. Well, you've been like at the house, or you've been at the park? At the house. Okay. Cool. Oh, you got like a ram and everything at the house? Mm-hmm. Oh, you lucky, man. I wish I could hoop. I haven't hooped in a while. You back? I'm back. You had uh, kicked me out, but you're cool because you have your rights, so... Well, look who it is, Westside. <laughs> All right, Josh. I will let you have this, and you can. Take I have it. one more question. So when so when somebody shares the screen, it goes to the to the first screen. Can most people share their screen at one time? Uh, you know what? I think that might have to be a setting I change. And. I think the only person who could share, like you can share and a participant can share at the same time. But so not, right, so like you can share yours and then they can share theirs, but um, two, partic two of them couldn't share theirs, if I'm saying it right. Okay, so only, so me, only, me, and some, only me and somebody else can share at the same time. Yep, yep. Okay. Because okay. you're the host. So, like, even if you try to say, okay, two of them could go, they wouldn't be able to do it. It has to be one person at a time. It'd have to just be the host, which would be you and um, somebody else, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll do it that way then. All right, because how many people we got? One, like, four people? Yeah, four people so far. Okay. All right. James, what's up, man? What's up? How you feeling? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What you been up to? Sleep, eating, working out, school a little bit. School a little bit. Yeah. All right. School been going decent so far. Yeah. Yeah. What you been up to? Killing man, trying to stay busy. And um, still trying to stay creative, man. So, I see. Hopefully, be able to share some some stuff with you guys, where you all can kind of do some stuff for your own private time as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
put my phone under not disturbed. All right, cool. So for anybody who wasn't here, uh, my name is Jock. I am a photographer and I am the photography instructor with Common Ground Foundation. Uh, I will have been working with Common Ground for almost two years now. I have been doing photography for almost maybe five years. I have been doing freelance photography for about a year. Uh, but outside of that, I also work with teenagers and young people quite frequently. So. Um, yeah, so it's not my first time working with young people, especially in, in this round. And so I'm just kind of excited to be able to bring something new, something different, especially while we all at home and, you know, trying to find ways to be productive while we're going through like this quarantine process and, and find ways to be inspired in the midst of it. All right. Um, just kind of give it like a recap of the last class. Last class, I just introduced like some photography techniques, went over some terms, um, went over some things about what photography is. Um, and then we talked about if for some people what some of those terms meant to them. So for, we talked about like rule of thirds, how when you are taking pictures in your frame, how you intentionally put something to a right or the left side of the screen to intentionally move the person's eye to that. Um, we talked about symmetry, symmetry. Um, we all know about that from uh, geometry, from math. We, you know, when you take something and split it in a half. So, for example, you can see my screen. You know, if I take my finger and split it here, you are splitting the image between two sides and trying to make it proportionally equal where you can balance it out. Uh, and so, you know, as we continue to dive into photography and dive into uh, these classes, we'll learn more about those maybe possibly those individual things could be individual challenges so you all can be able to find find ways to be create creative using those particular terms or techniques or whatever um and so this particular today we're talking about lightroom and i introduced that last class uh for people who took my class before that's one of the main apps that we use and one of the main focus is using your cell phone to produce quality pictures um since I, I know for me, when I started out doing photography, I didn't have access to a camera and I didn't want to use that as an excuse to why I couldn't create or why I couldn't be creative. And so I kind of want to introduce some of those things that I've done and some of the things I've worked with. And so last class, we, we did like a demo and I kind of talked about how you can create using fine objects in your house. Um, so I used um, a pair of shoes I had and a jersey and a construction paper. And I, I literally just used everything I had with me to create something pretty cool. And so just to kind of start off, I will share my screen. And so what I want to do is, so I want to make this a little bit more hands-on. Some of the feedback I got is that people want to be more hands-on. And so uh, trying to do that the best way possible while we all virtual. And so I want to make this as interactive as possible. So at any moment, somebody have a question, just unmute yourself and just ask the question because I won't, once when I share my screen, I won't be able to see you. But periodically, I will be like coming out of it so I can kind of be able to see what you all are doing. And so one of the requirements prior to this was making sure that you all had took a picture previously um, to come in so we can edit it a lot of times. So it's not just me talking. I can kind of see you all doing it. Each other can see you or see us do it so we kind of get feedback and make this kind of like a real life, like editing session, um, like a collaborative project. And you all can give me advice, you can give me input when I'm like showing like a demo or something like that. And so I know one of the things that was encouraged for you all to do was to kind of go on walks. And so that's kind of what I encourage you all to do. So we can be active and not necessarily stuck in the house, take things outside, bring it inside. And then also monetizing what you have at your disposal as well. All right. Um, before I pull up the app, do anybody have any questions so far? I don't. I don't. Perfect. So let me share my screen. Can everybody see that? So, okay, great. Yeah. All right, so I want to go back out just to show you all what I did, right? And so this here, that is the Lightroom app, okay? So for whoever don't have it, that is the app, but hopefully you all do have it because that that's, that's kind of needed for this class today. 
All right, so we're going to enter into the app. And when you enter in our app, it kind of looks like this. All right, it'll, show, it'll have all your photos. It'll also have what's called LR camera photos. And those are camera, that are, those are photos that you took within the app, all right? And so the app also has the ability to be able to control your camera so you can take pictures within the app and use the settings that the app provides, okay? And so just to kind of give you an overview of what that looks like, because we kind of talked about it last time, is when you open it up, all right, so I'm in front of my computer. So when you open it up, you have, have your settings at the bottom. You have one. So let me change this back. So it, there are settings that, so this middle button, the white button is your capture button, right? So that's how you capture the image. So if you see that, you see the, the camera, the screen kind of flicker, that means it took an image, okay? And so next to that, to the left of it, you will have your settings, right? So this basically, the automatic pretty much is self-explanatory, right? It does everything for you, it focuses for you, it attracts the light for you, all those things, okay? And then you have this thing called professional. A professional just means that it gives you more of a hands-on uh, tool to how you want to take your image, right? And so let's say you want to play with the exposure. Exposure is pretty much to turn this darkness or lightness, okay? And so you see as I turn it down, you see the, the image gets darker. As I begin to move it more further to the right, it becomes brighter. Okay, and so that basically determines on whether the environment you're in, whether it's darker, then you may want to compensate and make it lighter. Whether it's brighter, you want to compensate and make it darker. Okay, and so now you have your second, right? And so this basically just deals with what's called shutter speed. So when we are taking pictures and cameras, um, we tip. So anybody ever familiar when you take a camera and you hear that click click sound? Yeah. That is called, that's your shutter speed moving. And so that's basically how fast the shutter is moving to catch the image. But it also determines the light as well. And so sometimes if you have a high shutter speed, if, if the number is really fast, you'll, sometimes you'll see that the image will come out a little darker most times. And, and sometimes you have it more kind of slower that means it'd be brighter but that also means you'll start getting like some blurred effect with your image and so that's everything kind of works in tangent with each other so like there's a, a three rule thing where you have the shutter speed what's called iso which is basically like your uh, light sensitivity and then you would have um your f-stop which basically focuses on the light that comes into the lens of what comes into your frame and so because it's a cell phone you on this particular app, you cannot really dictate the ISO really so much, but just when just giving like some about that, that basically deals with the light that comes to the camera, all right? So that's more kind of like on the broad scale of things. But for the most part, you can get everything you need to get done in the automatic, and you also can focus on the light or darkness. If you tap on the screen, if you see what I'm doing, basically it's just picking on certain places to pl see where to play with the darkness and lightness and all that different stuff. It's like, it's almost playing with the exposure for pretty much, all right? And then you have this thing called dynamic range, which basically like just gives you like a lot of detail and you can kind of hold onto it and you can see like when you press down on it, it'll start seeing like, what do, you, what do, I, need, what do I need you to focus, what I need to focus on? And in, in some cases, I can take this same thing and slide it and it'll also play with your exposure. So basically what I'm doing, just touching on the screen and manipulating these certain things. And when this stuff is highlighted green like that, it's basically, it's just giving you like a hands-on grid view of what you're focusing on. All right, so that's just like some brief overview with that. All right, so let's go out of this. So like I said, when you go into the app, this is where everything that you see, okay? You'll see all your photos, you'll see your pictures that you've taken with your actual, right? So the pictures I've taken within the actual app. And then you'll see the image that you recently added. So whether you have taken pictures on your regular camera on your phone, and you can, you can import images into the program, all right? So there are two ways you can get pictures into the program. You can take them within the app, or you can take them outside of your app and import them inside, okay? And then this program also has a really cool way of being able to see, pick up faces and pictures and all these different things of stuff that you've taken. All right, so like Lightroom is a really cool app. All right, so now we're gonna go into our folder. You can also create folders, all right? So I made a folder for this class, okay? And so when my, when I, one of my ads were that we take something landscape, okay? Or take something with a sky, right? And so if anybody was here last time or just even thinking about it, what is landscape photography 
mean to you? Or what do you what do you think of when you hear landscape? What are either what are some images that come to your mind? I just want to kind of get an open dialogue about that. Um, I think landscape is like when you taking pictures of like I don't know, like Earth, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. wait, landscape ain't that like the t- ain't that like a type of way of taking a picture, like sideways or something like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Art of the money, right? And so landscape also deals with a certain dimension of an image, right? And how it's, it's more so kind of so focused on a lot of those you'll see like kind of horizontal, right? But then landscape also deals with the environment that you are taking a picture in. And so a lot of what I want to challenge you all to do is saying like you have landscapes outside your very doors that you can take pictures of that will also include like architecture, all the different things. And it's not just limited to like open fields and not just limited to um, a lot of rural areas, right? Areas that may have a lot of vast land. Like, no, your environments can be can get you some really dope landscape type shots. And it's not just only limited to being a horizontal view. It can be in a portrait mode, vertical, whatever, because we're focusing on their environment, right? And so what I'm trying to project is like while you are out taking these walks and, and scouring your neighborhood to be able to find the beauty and things that people overlook or that people take advantage of, take advantage of every day that they don't take advantage of every day. That you look at it as a regular thing where you can, where you have the powers of photographer to change the perspective of somebody that's, that sees something, right? And so all of us may live on different parts of the city. Some of us may be in the suburbs, some of us may be on the west or south side areas, right? And so that, that provides a great foundation to be able to, to create something different. For me, particularly, I stay on the uh, south side of Chicago, right off 79th Street, right? And so me, like me, just those two dynamics right there does not always produce a positive connotation in people's mind. But as a photographer, as a creative, I can change that, right? And so this is a picture I took on a wall. I'm going to brighten it up so you can kind of like get the gist of like how it kind of looked at that time, all right? And so we talked about something last time about like magic hour. Magic hour is typically sunrise and sunset, okay? So this is a picture was taken during around that magic hour time. So this is taking around a sunrise, okay? And so when I talk, when I tell you like you get like these really these real kind of like golden type colors, like it's just a really surreal time of the day. And so this is kind of the image that I that I was able to come up with, all right? And so big by y'all in this quarantine time, there's not a lot of people moving around, a lot of people like active like that. So I was able to run in what would be a busy street at this time with kids going to school that I kind of stand in the middle of the street, kind of get like this picture, right? And so anybody that was here uh, last time, what kind of technique do you think could be applied to this picture? Or like, if we could talk about a photo technique, or even when I mentioned it earlier, what could be applied to the picture? Um, exposure to make it brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, if you look at it, there, there's some symmetrical elements in that, right? And so if you yeah. split the screen in the middle or the half, you should be able to be able to be able to split the picture in between, right? And so like the line in the middle isn't as equally centered up, but if I did do that, then that would be my, my point of indication where the image splits up in the middle, okay? Um, so before I, so I'm, I'm going to go through this app real quick. And then I'm going to give you all the opportunity to have it, okay? So so before I do that, I want you all to go into your Lightroom apps. Okay? I want you all to go into your Lightroom apps and upload your image into Lightroom. So quick question, Um, when you are in your app at the bottom on the right hand, when you're in the Zoom app in the bottom side where it says more, does it give you the option to like raise your hand? Like you press the three dots at the bottom? Mm -hmm. It it gives me a thumbs up and like clap. Claps, okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. 
All right. So basically how this is going to work is I'm going to, I'm going to edit my picture first. And then like I said, if you have any questions while, while I'm in that, or if you have any suggestions, like, Hey, Hey, I want to see what it looks like. If you add like a little bit more contrast or whatever those like, feel free to do that. Okay. So I want this to be as interactive as possible. And so while I, and when I, so we're going to take turns, right? So we're going to see each other edit our pictures at, in real live time. So I'm going to do mine first. And then if you all want, we can kind of make up a list to say who want to go first, who want to go second after that. And then we, then we just going to finish up the class like that. So we're going to finish, we're going to, I'm going to edit for about maybe like five or six minutes. And then the next 30 minutes or so, we're going to spend that time diving into each other's each other's pictures and at the end of the class we all should have uh, some pictures that we can be pretty proud of that we can share and that we can kind of show like what happened from this class all right uh, all right so what i want to do is so we can maybe get a sense of like who want to go first or whatever if you can kind of go into the chat and just type in your name and so the order in which the names are, those are the orders we're gonna go on, who's gonna share their name. Who gonna who's gonna share first? All right. We sharing like what picture, what type of picture are you sharing? Any type of picture? Any picture that falls in the realm of like the sky or like landscape. Uh, I don't know. Did you all get an email prior to this? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, if you didn't see that email, that was one of the things I asked. So if you don't have that. Um, anything that's close to like anything that's kind of outside based that you have taken on your phone. We got Bria going first. We got Kennedy going next. So remember, put your name in the chat so we can know what in the order who gonna go first, second, third. Were you able to find one, Jane? No, I'm looking right now. Probably can't. <clears throat> I got a video. You need the image. Give me a second. I will. After now, I'm just gonna screenshot it. Okay. Now he he made he made a really great point. All right. Screenshots are not the best. We're gonna do it just for this class, but screenshots are not the best to edit pictures. Who can tell me why? Probably is not the original photo. Mhm. Mm but furthermore, let's dive a little bit deeper. Why? I don't even know. Okay. So when you screenshot an image, basically what happens is you lose a lot of file information. And so you end up with a smaller file size than the original image. So what happens is when we are editing image, what we're doing is we're pulling and manipulating information that's in the image. Okay. So if you ever seen an image, it may say like two megabytes, three megabytes, four megabytes, etc. So that is the image file size. The bigger the file size, the more you can manipulate it without getting a whole lot of distortion. So what's happening, right? While we're editing these pictures, we're, we're playing with the highlights, we're playing with the contrast, we're playing with the lightness and darkness. We are stretching the image, right? And so think about something that doesn't have the capabilities or the capacity to be stretched. What happens? It, it becomes to be more distorted. It, it you, you stretch it more than it has the ability to do so, right? And so then you don't end up getting the full extent of what you're trying to do. All right. So I'm still looking for names in the chat. I only got two. I, I found one. I found one, but my sister in it. Um, let me see if I can do something. Uh, okay, do this, James. And in, in the email. In the in the chat, put your put your name and then put your email. I'll shoot you a picture real quick. You got your email hooked up to your phone? Yeah. Okay. Put your email in the chat. And then so I got Bria Trinity, I mean Kennedy. Rob, you wanna put your name in the chat for me? I already did. I don't see it. 
I mean, it's say privately, like, I don't know how to, like. Okay, so at the bottom, where it, when you type your name, it'll say send to. S click everyone. Oh. Perfect. And then Jasmine, if you could put your name in there for me. Perfect. All right. And then James, when you put yours, of course you'll be last. And then put your email on there. And then I will try to shoot your image if you could play with it. Okay. okay. But in the meantime, do everybody have an image queued up? in their app. Is it okay if it's an old image? Not yet. That's fine. As long as it plays around with landscape or like sky or any something like that that we can play with, it's fine. Okay. But like moving forward, I'm going to challenge you all to come up with like some newer stuff. Just to kind of get you out. The point is to kind of get you all up and active. Let me find something so I can send over to our good friend James. Hey, you cheating, Jane. You finna get my good stuff. <sighs> All right. So I emailed you a picture. It should say the third table. Okay, perfect. All right. So I'm going to go into, I want to share my screen. Can everybody see the screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So I'm gonna go back out and go back in. All right. So when you go when you have your app, right? So this is gonna be a grid of all your pictures. And so these are some like pictures I, I've taken that I've, I've like curated just for this class. All right. So we'll dive into some of these. All right. And so I want to choose this one here as my as my picture I want to edit. Okay. And so as you can see. Like looking at this app, if you've never been into it, it can be real kind of like overwhelming. It's like a lot of stuff. You got healing, you got crop, you got profiles, you got auto, you got light, you got color, you got effects, detail, optics, geometry, um, presets, previous, reset, right? All of those things mean something, obviously, right? And so you got, and you got selective and healing, right? Selective. For many of you all may not have it because that may be like a pro version of the app, but like I said, that's not necessarily necessary to edit, right? The one of the things I talked about, there are four there are four things that I focus on when I edit in this app. And that is light, color, effects, and details. If you know how to use those, those are your four main main points in this app. Okay. But just to get just so I'm not leaving out anything. With selective, selective just means that you can selectively, for example, uh, it gives you a brush. And so if you see this, basically it'll highlight where we're editing. And so basically that means that it only edits in that particular space. That basically is all, all that means. And they have like different brushes, different tools to do that. Okay? That's a little bit more on the advanced side. And then you got healing, which basically talks about, like if you have like a blemish or something, or if you want to try to like copy something or make the, the software fix a, a issue, it'll automatically kind of do that for you. And then you have crop. Crop just basically means that you can play with the size and the dimensions of the image, right? And so if I didn't want to see all that, and if that's all I want to see, I can do that as well. So, so crop is another good thing as well. Um, but we don't want, I don't want to dive into that one just right this second. And then profiles play with a lot of the color tones um, that are within the app. 
And so, like, it's almost kind of like filters, essentially. If I could explain it, it would become like filters. But it's basically just showing, just having, like, the program of different color grades, all right? So I just leave it on the, the, pre, the, the regular one, Adobe Color. All right, so I'm going to go into this one, all right? So with light, so I can say you have light, color, effects, and details. Those are your four main ones, all right? Light. Light is pretty much self-explanatory, where it talks about, like, I remember, now, they mean that word explosion I talked about, so it's basically playing with light or dark, right? And as you see, as we can be able to manipulate these, already instantly, you get two, uh, you get, like, huge, obviously, like, uh, obvious difference differences in the image, right? They all, they can be, you know, and so, like, keeping in mind, like, you have ways to experiment, right? So, where I look at these, it's like, yeah, there's like set ways you can do things, but with those three, it's really easy, and I really encourage experimenting, okay? And so, then you have your contrast, right? Contrast really kind of focus on like a lot of bringing more darkness, putting on a lot of blacks, you know, kind of helping like when, when in a landscape type of sense of like get playing around with a lot of like silhouette type stuff. Okay. As you see, as, as I begin to move, add more, you see as more of the, the darkness of it becomes to be more bolder. Okay. And then you got your highlights. So I know a lot of ladies can, can identify with highlights kind of work when you put on makeup. It's kind of like you add like a little light that's kind of like on the top. It kind of works the same way here where the light that kind of like sits on the top is, a, is what's being affected. If you can look anywhere in the image, right? It is not messing with anything else. It's messing with that obvious light that highlight the light the light that's kind of like on the top the bright the brighter light okay and then you have your shadows right so when thinking about shadows right if, if the highlight is the light that hits on the top then your shot your shadows is the the effects of that light kind of hitting falling off to like the bottom right and so when i'm playing with the shadow as you can see it's and now it's it's, it's playing with 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 the light with kind of effect which will kind of provide the shadow of that okay and then with whites okay whites focus on any whiteness of an image okay and so if you look let's see when i when i increase it all the all that white that's in that sky it'll enhance if i pull it in or if i want to take if i want to decrease how vivid or how vibrant it is i can also do that as well and if you notice when i do that now you start to see the different colors that's in the sky, okay? And then the blacks, same thing. So looking at, if you look at the image, you can see like what may be black or maybe dark, right? And if I decrease it, it'll make it more bold. If I increase it, basically it'll illuminate the blackness, the black things that's in the image. And now you can kind of see the image, how it, how it is at that, that time without all the extra shadows and all the extra blacks, right? So I'm gonna leave that open just for now, just so we can get it, see it, see what happens when we start editing the pictures, all right? So I'm gonna go over, before I go to the next one, anybody have any questions about this light, to, this light section? No. No. Okay. So now we're going to color. Okay, the color focuses on just that, the color of the colors that, that are in the image, whether decreasing them or increasing them, or even being able to play with the tone of the image, okay? And so the first one that we have here is called temperature, all right? So when we have temperature, it, it mostly focuses on like two different spectrums. You have what's called your cool end, and you have more, or your warm end. Okay, and so if I said something is cool, what what comes what colors come to mind when you hear cool? Blue, blue, right? And when you have warm, what colors kind of come to mind with warm? Orange, red, right? Your yellows, your orange, your reds. All right. So let's say for example, I want to make this more of a on a cool end. If you look, you'll see that the image will start turning to more blue, right? And if I move on the other spectrum, it'll get become more warm, right? And and the warm kind of more, you know, complement the time at this this picture was taken in because you know there's already a lot of yellows, a lot of warm colors that's coming at this time of the day. But if I wanted to make this a totally different 
dynamic. I can do that. And so now it's, it's more kind of looking like a middle of the day kind of, or even a sunset type of feel because in the, in the later times of the day, you're getting more of your pastel purples and your more blues and your deeper, your deeper colors. That's more kind of like that night kind of color as it, as it begins to fade off into like that black midnight blue type color. All right. So I'm gonna put this right back in the middle. And then you have your tent, right? Your tent focuses on on your on gives you more of a, of a greenish or more of a purplish kind of tone. And so if I shift over to the tent, you'll see it kind of gives you this green um, kind of color feel. And then and then it more kind of gives you like that old school Polaroid, like you picked up an old film camera. And it's been sitting there for a while, and so it's not able to pick up all the vibrant colors because technology has changed. That type of look, or even the same uh, other spectrum, right? But then, like, remember I was telling you before, when like when you get the sunset, these are kind of the colors that we kind of see quite naturally that the sky will make. But now, because now with editing, we have the ability to control and be able to manipulate those things ourselves. All right. And so like I said, there are a lot of creative ways to be able to do stuff now. For now we have this basic um, street, basic place, but now we, we're able to create and make it a more kind of a beautiful type of thing. All right. And then you have vibrant. Vibrance basically deals with the color and how vibrant it is or less vibrant. All right. So when you move to the left, it's less vibrant, less vibrant. You keep going now you get more of a kind of a black and white kind of feel or a let uh, the color stuck in there so less that you only you can only see it just in little spectrum where you, and then you may just only see uh, more of a uh, uh, like just this orange kind of tone all right or you if you want to make the colors so robust and so vibrant you just slide it on now now you just see everything right And then saturation environments kind of go in hand in hand and similar. Whereas like if you have less of it, that is just taking out all the colors. Or you just want to this splack and just like boom. I just want I just want all of it. All right. And even if you put the two together, now you just get all this. All right. Like I said, it's really a lot of cool stuff that you play with. All right. Then I'm gonna go on to our third one. Anybody got any questions so far? Nope. Yeah. Uh, third um, effects. All right. So this gets into the to ways to change like different dynamics, add more depth to a picture, add more detail to a picture, um, add more like to pull out more stuff. Okay. And so with texture, right? And so when you get texture, right? You think think about like things that that you touch or things that like when we look at fabric and we think of like you can you can see all the 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 the, the grooves and all the different stuff in in in, in an actual thing now we can do that with a picture and so we increase the texture on a picture and what i want you all to look at look at the street and then you can see kind of what happens as you can see now you can start seeing more all right you can start seeing more, it's pulling out more the, the, the texture of the street. And so now when I zoom out, you have more of a, like a detailed image that, that's starting to become happening now. It's making it more clean and more crisp. And the same thing with the clarity, right? And so when you think about clarity, think about for somebody who don't wear glasses, right? And when you put the glasses on, you can see more clear. You can see, you can see further more than what you already saw yourself. And so if I add more clarity, right? It just makes it it just it just makes it more of a three D type of image, right? And so it's kind of looking at seeing all we only and we only did a little diff, little things, right? Nothing we didn't even start sliding out everything and look how, how much of a significant difference it is before to after. So even if you take a real dark image, you can also brighten it up. But then talking about before when I talked about if you take if you use a screenshot, I can guarantee when you start doing all this stuff because you're manipulating and stretching it so much, it'll become distorted. You'll start seeing like little waves in the image. Okay. So clarity is one of my favorite tools because 
especially when taking pictures of like skies and stuff like that, you have the ability to if it, it looks it looks kind of like not so much there, but you, us being photographers, us being creatives, we have the ability to dive into the image and pull out little details. All right, and so then you have dehaze, which basically can add more of a haziness, kind of like a fog type image, or you can take it out. And then what happens is, remember, when I look at the sky, it'll start helping you see those colors that you didn't see, that that was kind of covered up. It'll start making it more vibrant, all right? And then you have a thing that basically creates kind of like this border, kind of black on the outside, or you switch and do white. I typically normally, normally don't, because they don't really look cool to me, but I mostly kind of play on the dark, just kind of add like a little bit more of a bow and some more of an exaggerated look to the image, all right? So I talked a lot and I want to kind of give you all time to just dabble with this app and kind of like, I want to see what you kind of do with playing with those four elements, all right? So James, did you get your image? Yeah, I got my image. I already started editing a little bit. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Did anybody else start editing already? I didn't yet. Okay, cool. So, like I said, we only got maybe like 25 minutes or so. And so I just want to kind of like you all, everybody to spend maybe... I got one, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. So everybody spend maybe like five minutes. We're gonna spend like five minutes kind of like we're doing like some brief editing. And then in your own personal time, I want you to dive and spend more time on those images. All right? All right. Cool. So first up we have Bria. So Bria, if you can share your screen with us. So how you do that, if you click at the bottom, it says share content. Did I do that? Can you see it? All I see is a, it's a person. I just got like a icon. You might have. Now can you so see it? There we, there we go. We got some heat got some on there. Heat on there. <laughs> let's see. What, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. Oh, man. Perfect. Perfect. Can anybody else see us? Can screen? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I see it. I see it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, I get everybody. I get everybody else to know. Right. Right. Let's see what you Let's got. See what you got. So what made you what made you what made you, particular uh, particular uh, image? I don't know. You don't what know. You no. No. So we talk about that. We talk about that. <laughs> Like what? Like why? 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 So around like what time? Like what time of day? This time. This time. This time. Yes. So did were you? Did so you, were you like? Did you like change? Change? change exposure, exposure. Left the left the left the like the way it was. 
Um, I changed the exposure exposure a little bit, but not really. Okay. Let's see okay. if you let's, let's see if you, let's see what happens, let's see what happens if you make it real dark. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. okay. So this showing so like you like the have have yeah. manipulate image image how bright it, how darker, bright it is. darker it is. I see that you have some contrast all the right? way so like, yeah. so like what happens when what happens when we do that? We did that. Yeah. 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 It kind of makes so the blue a little so brighter. Right. It makes right. blue, it makes your blue a little robust. bit more robust. You got your highlights. You got your highlights up too. <laughs> yeah. That didn't really change anything. Kind of sure? made the sure? white a little brighter. Look at the bottom. Yeah, it made it a little brighter. All right. Mm-hmm. So because the so image because itself, the image itself right right they try to see they like try to where see like where the highlights are, are in that particular if any and then sometimes and then sometimes it'll, 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 it'll look at like those clouds, inside those clouds see like the little, white, like little white spots is it kind of change is it kind of change so okay okay So what's happening? So what's happening? Did you change it? It made like the cloud a little foggy when you go to the left. And that was more clarified and clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. And so like even so like even like looking at this right, I'm looking at it. So I'm looking at it. I can kind of see like if I use my if I use my imagination, I eliminate the house almost the bottom. It's almost kind of like I'm sitting over the field and seeing like these and seeing like these really vibrant skies that you will only see like down south, like down south somewhere on an island, on an island somewhere. It's really cool. That's really cool. All right. So you got some really cool stuff. I want to stop here with that one. And so I want to keep you to continue to like experiment. It looks really good. So let's go back to your Okay. So I was going to have you do the before and after. So like sometimes if you want to see like your progress while you edit a picture, if you hold down on the image, it'll show you what it looked like before. And so you can kind of see your progress. A lot of times when we're editing, we can be seeing, we can like, man, I don't really feel like I'm like doing that. I don't really see, feel like there's no really change happening. Just hold down the image. It'll show you the the progress that you've made and what you have adjusted. All right. Good job. That was really good. Appreciate you for sharing. Kendi, you are next. How do you share the screen? Okay, so if you if you press the screen at the bottom, you'll see a, a green box with an arrow pointing out, and you'll press share content. And so if you don't want us to see all your apps, what I would recommend is that you will open the app first, come out the app, come back into Zoom, press the image, and then press share screen. Is it working? Not sure. You press share. So if you press share content and then press screen. Mm-hmm. Did you try that? And then yeah, it, it'll actually mm-hmm. start broadcast. It's only letting me like share my photos. It's only letting you share your photos? Yeah, it won't let me like record my screen. What op- so when you press um share content, what options do do you see there? Screen, photos, iCloud. Okay, uh, right. I want you to press screen.
And then when we say press, when it says screen, it, it'll say Zoom when it start broadcast. Then I want you to start broadcast. There we go. Are you on your phone? No, I'm on an iPad. Okay. All right. So you have a different a different version of the app. You have the Lightroom mobile app, but it still it still can work. Okay. So so you have light color effects detail. All right, cool. So let's start off with your light, with your exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, and whites. And we're just gonna kind of let you kind of go through those. And then in the meantime, while you're going through those, let's talk. Tell me a little bit about this photo and like where it was. Uh, I took it on a trip in Canada. It was in Vancouver. It was like over the summer, a couple of years ago. Okay. So what what made this picture like important, or why did you want to use it for this class? Um, I just liked the mountains and the clouds in the background. Nice. Cool. All right. So let's see. Um, so what are you, so what are you, so what are you looking to maybe have this picture transform into? What are you looking to pull out? I kind of want to like change the sky up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Have it brighter. Okay. And so... Would you be interested in changing the color of the sky? Yeah. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. I hope I can show you on this app. Um, that's another thing, you guys. Like, this app is so, that's what I love about it. It gives you so much control that you can literally change the image into something totally different versus what it was previously. Okay. And so when she finishes with uh, how she wants the light to look and how much contrast she want to add and whether she want to dabble with the highlights, we'll go into the color tab after that. Nice. And so like the more you all dive in, experiment, play with these apps, like I said, the last time I talked about, because somebody asked me, like, how did you know, like, how you want to edit it, how you want it to look, or like you want, you looking for like this particular, as like, you become the editor and because you become more, and then when you become more comfortable taking photos, then you'd be like, man, I, I like this type of style or aesthetic. And then that's, then you can easily go into it like, hey, I'm, I'm going to go this route. All right. Nice. Okay, I want to leave that right there. I want, I want, I want, I want. Oh, that's good, right there. So, like, now you see how bright that blue is. Yeah. Okay. And so, when you in a color tab, up in that little small right corner, so you got color, and it say B and W next to it. There's like a color wheel. I want you to press the color wheel for me. Great. And so here, so this this basically pulls out gives you a layout of, of a, a few of colors and basically what it does is it gives you the opportunity to control those colors and manipulate them okay and so i want i want you so i want i want people to see i want you to see what happens when you focus on a, a big main color and the main color that you see in this image is what color blue blue all right so what i want you to do is go in that color mix and go and go over where the that blue is so next to up uh, yeah right there all right so can you scroll up just a little bit so we can see all the options that, that you have and then right but like can you scroll up the menu section you should be able it should have you is, this, is that the only option that it have is hue and saturation there Heal there you saturation. go there you go yep that's what i want you to do scroll up so we can see all of them okay and so it allows you to play with the hue, the saturation, and the luminous, okay? The hue will what, what ultimately change the color a little bit, all right? So I want you to take that hue and slide it all the way to the, to the left. Okay. 
Okay. Um, move that back over to your blue. You move it back over to kind of like that teal color. Uh, if you go back where the color mix is, so where you have your red, orange, yellow, green, that teal, that blue, highlight that blue again. Mm -hmm. Good. And then slide your hue all the way over. Now look. Now you see? So now you have a totally different dynamic of the image all together, right? Now slide it back towards the middle again, the hue. All right, and then slide it all the way to the right. All right, okay. And so your hue will change, the can change the color to more of a the color in the same bracket of a teal kind of color and, and it does it differently for each color all right and so i'm not sure if that's what you want to do but i just want to kind of introduce that to you all right so you can slide that back to the middle and it will change it back to where your image was all right so then i want you to go to your saturation all right so when we talk when we talk about saturation it'll either push the colors more or it'll take it out all right and so pull your saturation all the way over to the left and so for those who have the, that's, that's what's called the Lightroom Classic app, you have that same ability as well. You just, if you go to the color and you look, it'll say, it'll, you'll see that little circle to have the different colors. If you click that, it'll open up and show you all the colors that you have, that, ha that all the colors and that it'll, it'll lay out the same colors and you can manipulate each of those colors in that app, okay? And so as you see, when she pulled the saturation out of that, it did not, it isolated it, right? And so, what it did was it, it looked for all the blue in the image, poured it out, and it left your greens on a different stuff. So now you can have different dynamics of what to do with your image, okay? So if you slide that back to the middle, it'll bring your blue back. Perfect. And the luminous is kind of the same thing. So slide your luminous over to the left. All right, and so it kind of gives you more kind of like this detail kind of 3D type of look where it, is, it makes your, your blues kind of super dark and your shadows a little bit and your, and your clouds a little bit more robust, like a really cool image to create a really cool narrative to your story. Okay, I see, I see you got Jasmine. <laughs> all right, and then... All right, so I want I want you to kind of come out. I want to make I want to get somebody else another time to play with it. But I, what I want you what I want you to kind of do is experiment with those, and then I want you all to send me what you all kind of come up with when you spend more time diving into editing pictures. All right, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. You did a great job. Thank you. All right, Rob, your turn. All right, so I like I press share, and then I do what? Okay, so you press share content, and then you press screen, and then you click start broadcast. Uh, You got it. Let me walk you through it. Uh, wait, so I press screen. And then right. What? So, right. So at the bottom, it'll give you options, right? And then you'll see where it says share content. It's this green box with arrow pointing out. You're going to press that. And then once you do that, it'll give you options again. And where it says screen, you're going to press screen. And then it'll say something about like screen broadcast and it'll say zoom. You want to click where it says start broadcast. Okay, so I press the chair and then I press uh, screen and then it say 
Zoom will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. And then I press start now. Yep. It worked? Mm. Nope. I'm not sure. You had it you had it earlier. So I don't know what you did differently now than what you did earlier. What about what about now? Nope. All I can see is your logo. Mm. So you so look, so go back. So you press at the bottom where it says share content. Wait. Wait, the, the share box? Right. It says share. So you press See, that. Then I press screen. Screen. Yep. And then when you press screen, it should say something like screen broadcast, right? And then it, it may it should have the, the zoom logo and then where it says start broadcast, you're gonna press there. It worked. Mm -mm. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you did before. So let's let, let's try it again in a, in a little bit. Um, let's get um, James. James, you want to try yours out? And then we'll come back to you, Rob. Okay. All right. I was brushing my teeth on. Uh, give me. What? Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
So y'all can see what he's doing. He going through he going through a lot of us when we edit. That's what we kind of was like, man, I just want to see like how can I really transform this image into something else? So we kind of going and he's finding out what he likes and what he don't like and and what what speaks to him and so that he can be able to um, portray something that he's proud of, something that he really cares about, right? And so you point out something, you like this something you like something about the building, right? And you want the building to be the main focal point of the image, right? And because there's, there's a lot of busy, busyness going on in the image, right? And so if you, there you go, you're already in it. And so a lot of times, um, so we have a lot of architectural shots, there's a lot of structure, a lot of things going on. Your, your clarity tool and your texture tool will be your best friend. In, in that. Does he? Right? And you'll start seeing what the clarity happened. What happened with the clarity is it will bring out a lot of detail and the details in your shot and because there's a lot of movement a lot of pieces in this when you add the detail you'll be able to get to see a lot, a lot of the individual bars and all of the different things in the image all right and so one thing i want to point out and i'm not sure if it's if it's his phone or maybe the image file was small now when you look when look up in the clouds right you'll see a lot of pixelation right and so when we have a lot of small i have a small image you you'll see that's what i was saying that's a lot of pulling tug, tug and happen because you're playing a lot of dynamics of the image and the image may not be powerful powerful enough to hold on to be able to do that and so keep in mind when we are editing we're, we're really stretching the image to be able to do a lot of different things we're pulling it out of this natural element to be something that we want it to be okay mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool james i want to see what you come up with afterwards towards the um end all right and so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have you all share me your pictures so i can see what you all come up with so while we get while we're getting off of this i want you to spend time pushing these images and coming up with something pretty cool. But thanks, man. That was really cool. Thanks. Uh, you want to try it out, Jasmine? No, not really. Come on, come on, come on. I want to see what you got. We're going to work on this together. This is, this, we, we are uh, a family here. <laughs> I mean, We're I all learning my together photo. collectively. Huh? I reset my photo. Cool, we can do that. That's cool. You need help trying to walk through sharing it? So are you gonna So James. Yo. I need you to uh unshare your screen. Oh dang, bang. Um I thought I stopped. Yes, yeah, I stopped. Can you see it? Oh wait, I think so. Hold on one second. No, I can't see it. Did you do the green box and then press screen? Yeah, no. When I um when I try to take off, it said stop. Well, what's it called? Stop broadcasting. That's what I did. Never mind. You good, James? She back in hers. You see mine or no? I see myself. I don't know what you do. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a really interesting picture. Uh, I like how you kind of shifted it over to like where you're trying to lean over to the left. Uh, I would challenge you maybe to try to straighten it up and try to do some cool stuff. Now, so remember we got our light, color, detail. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's just start like doing something real basic in a sense. Uh, hey James, can you mute your uh, your phone from? Oh yeah, my bad. Huh. All right. So let's start with the exposure. Let's let's start playing with that. Uh. -uh. <laughs> and remember, if you if you and if you go down super low with the exposure, what happens? It goes dark. Right. And so like I don't know if you if you're trying to do like a silhouette type of thing, that's possible. But you won't be able to do all that in exposure though. And so if you bring exposure up a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. About right there. All right. So you just bring out a little bit. You got a lot of blues and that's really cool. All right, so let's see what happens when we put it the contrast. All 
right? And so if you look at it, when you, when you pull it out, it starts pulling out more of that darkness and that blue. So if you want more blue, then you will bring your contrast the other, the other way. I think I like the darker blues. Okay. You like the darkness of the street as well? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right. So do you want to mess with any of the highlights, or are you cool with the way that looks? Um, I think I'm cool with the way it looks right now. Okay. So, do you want to add any more darkness to the image? So, if you remember, we got the, we got the we got a lot you got a lot you got some shadows in there, and so it, it'll start messing with the bottom if you want to play with that as well. Like, can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. So, uh, you want to play with any of the shadows at all? Mm. I don't think if anybody so. else want to chime in, feel free. <laughs> okay, so I'll move over to color. Okay, so do you want to make this more warm or do you want to leave it more on the cool side? Or do you want to play with um, the tint? Do you want to make the, have it more of a greenish kind of feel or a purplish kind of feel? Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> And now look, which now what you did was now now this what season does it that remind you of? Maybe summer or spring. It's one, it's one, one more I'm thinking of. Comes out the summer. Oh wait, I can make my tree purple. You can, but what happened is that it's 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 changing the whole image itself, and it, the tree, the way it's kind of positioned, it that's what's that's what's, what's shifting. Now, now if you want to get more complicated in terms of like isolating that, that it is a possibility to do that as well. But yeah, if you move that tin over, you'll add a lot, a little bit more of a purple dynamic to the image. Okay, so. Like right here? Wherever you feel that, that looks good. I'm just here for more support. <laughs> that looks good. And I hold down the image and, and so we can see how much you have you've already changed the image yourself. So if you hold down on it, it should it should show you the before and after. Like, oh, you gotta press if you press down on the screen. It might not work because you are you on the IP there you go. All right, so you can kind of see like you've already done like some really cool stuff. All right, so and then let's see what else we got. Um, okay, there's a text. there's a there's another cool thing that happens when in the effects tool. It's called a split tone. All right, so I want you to click that split tone for me. All right, so remember I talked about like highlights and, and shadows. You, are, uh, you not only are you able to brighten or darken it, you're able to add colors to it as well. So I want you to do is take that circle and move over any color that you want for the highlights. Are you seeing what's happening? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> so, all right. So that that's what happens with that, right? So it finds the highlights and it changes to, to the color that you pick it to be. And because it's so broad, you can literally choose any color that you want, all right? And, and the way to reset that is to put it back where you found it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I broke it. You didn't. So take that <laughs> circle and move it down in that bottom right corner. It's like all in the corner. Yep, there you go. So that's where you that's where you had originally had it at. All right. So let's try to let's see what happens when you move your shadows. When I move it, what? The shadows. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's a lot of cool stuff that you can do, and you can change, and it and it's like. And, and think about it. Like, you probably stepped outside, took a picture while you're standing on the porch, and then think that you could do anything different about it. Sometimes we take a lot of pictures, just leave it as is. Like, no, we can really do to create some really amazing artwork, which is basic stuff. All right? 
So if that's where you want to leave it, that's cool. If you want to reset it back, you just put it back in that little corner. All right, cool. Okay. So let's hit, let's hit done, and it'll bring us out of that tab. All right. And then, you know, if you want to add more detail to it, you got your texture, you got your clarity. And then remember, we got our dehaze that it either create like a fog type of look or it'll create a more of a robust kind of the opposite of what a fog would be, which is the super vibrant type of look as well. Mm. <laughs> and if you're cool with it like that, that's great as well. Because I would still want to challenge you to, you know, edit outside of this time as well. Okay. Okay. Good. You did a good job. I want you to hold down that screen again. See, that was your before. That's your after. All right. There was one part. I don't know which. I don't know if you have the regular Lightroom app. So the Lightroom Classic app is the one I want you all to get. But this one is cool too. It just doesn't have all the other options. All right. I want you to go back to your color tab for me. Okay. Wait. Is this it? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. No, that's the temperature one. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> Got it? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It looks weird to me. <laughs> what part? Um, I think it's the temperature. Okay. So, if you don't like it, then you, have, you definitely have the power and ability to change it, right? Mm-hmm. It's just like trying to change it. it just looks weirder. Okay, so what what is it that you don't like that you want to do? Um. Or where in your imagination that you can see this image going? I think it's more of the yellow. Like I'm seeing too much of yellow. You want to see more yellow? Like, um, no, I want to see less yellow. But okay, so uh, what I want you to do is go back to that tab where it says you see where it says mix. Mm -hmm. We're gonna click mix, we're gonna click yellow, we're gonna click saturation. So, you see that yellow house back there? Wait, like, can you say that again? You said a yellow house back there? Mm hmm. I'm gonna give you a warning. It's gonna pull that out. But let's see. Let's see if it if it pulls out some of the yellow that you don't want to see. Okay. So we're gonna take our saturation and start pulling it down to the left. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. Cool. So as you all can see, like if there are certain elements or certain colors that you don't want as vibrant, and if it falls into that range of the option they give you you have the ability to change it either swap it all together and so for example remember we talked about that we did that blue the last time so let's try that again since that's the obvious one so we're just using this for testing purposes so i want you to just click the blue at the top and so let's let's change the hue just let's do the opposite let's change it to the to the right all right <laughs> so now this is this is a, this is something that happens right and so sometimes when we have like images that they kind of outline or inside of the image. Sometimes you get like this weird random outline. So that might have been you pushed it too far. So then you may want to ease up off of it. You may want to ease up off of it some more. Sometimes you may want to just not use it at all because it, it just may not be uh, pleasing to you. Or let's see what happens when you when you move it the opposite direction. So let's try to move that hue to the other the other side. The saturation the or the hue. The top one. Right. So, like I said, you can do a lot of cool stuff. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. And a lot of times it happens when you have like an image that's kind of like in the forefront of the color that you're trying to manipulate. Because remember, when we're doing a lot of this stuff, we are 
pulling and moving a lot of information back and forth. And so the image is like, it maybe it's almost kind of like it's resistant to what you're doing. And so sometimes we, we be able to be cautious when we're doing our cell phone pictures because the images for our cell phones are only so big. And so like, maybe we might not be able to push it as hard as we want to be able to do it. So sometimes we just gotta try to pull away and get away as much as that we can, all right? So that's just another like learning opportunity. And let's say, for example, you don't want that blue that bright, then you can play to a saturation to pull it out. Okay. But if you, if you like it like that, then I think that's pretty cool. And I think that's a really good place. And hopefully it's better than um, what you didn't like before. All right, so hopefully I, help, I hope some of those things helped. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, Rob. You ready to try it again? Yeah. Okay. So let's click share content at the bottom. And then at the top, your, your top option should say screen. So we're going to press screen. Well, you said at the top it should say screen? Mm -hmm. So when you press when you press the um, share content, what options do you see? I see photo, I see document, I see box, I see Dropbox, I see Google Drive, I see Microsoft OneDrive, I see Microsoft OneDrive for Business, I see web, I see URL, I see bookmark, I see screen, and then I see share whiteboard. Okay, press screen for me. And then when you see screen, what else do you see? Uh, I saw start now. Let's 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 try start now. Okay, I pressed it. Hmm. Do I just like now that I just like go like into the app? Yeah, it's not showing me. It's not showing me your screen. But you did it earlier. You remember what you did earlier? That was different than what you did now. Oh, what I did earlier, I went to. What I did earlier, it was like I pressed share, and then I went to photo. So like, I think I was just sharing my photo that I showed you. Oh, but okay. It wasn't like it wasn't like edited like. It's it's working for everybody else, but I'm not sure why it's not working uh, for oh. you. So let's try this again. So let's go share content. Yeah. Right. And so, do you see screen as an option? Yeah, it's like all. It's like the second class. Okay. Let's press screen, and then we see screen. Do it say screen broadcast at all? It say Zoom will start capturing everything that is displayed on your screen. It will say cancel okay. or start now. Put click the one that says start casting everything that's on your screen. Uh, click the one that says start casting everything that's on your screen. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, that's not that's not like an option. That's just saying like what it what it what's it gonna do. Okay, you press that one. Press start. Mm hmm And then it say like black it brought me to some like it say draw over other apps and then it say like it say like permanent drawing over other apps and then like you can like turn it off or turn it on. Okay, you can turn it on. I don't think it'll it'll make a huge difference. And that's like really it. I mean, like, that's like the only option I could give me. Hmm. So, yeah, okay. Let's see. Um, maybe we can find a way to chat offline, and I can find a way to uh work on something. But I guess in the in the meantime. Let's do this because I want I want to still find a way where you can kind of still be able to edit something. So I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, All right? And then what? what I want you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, and then what I want you to do is 
I want you to walk me through how to edit edit a picture. Can we do that? Say again. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Wait, you so I'm gonna you let you pick. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you. I have a few different landscape ones. Like we did this one last time. This is the original one. And then I have. I have this one. I have this one. It's kind of dark. I have that one. And then I have, I was really cool when I found this car that it was kind of foggy. And then I have the sunrise one by like a walking sign. I like this one. Which like one? The With the walking sign? Mm -hmm. This one? All right, cool. Yeah. So we're going to do this one. All right. Let me make sure it has, don't have any edits on it. Okay, it's reset. All right. So out of, out of the four, right, light, color, effects, and details, where would you like to start? Light. Okay. All right. So I have uh, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows. Which one should I? Should I move? You can turn up the exposure. All right, should I turn it, uh, darken it, or am I brighten it up? Brighten it. Hello? Okay. I got to go. Okay, bro. Thank you so much for joining. No problem. All right, y'all. All right, make sure you send me a picture. I got you. I'm going to email you. All right, sounds good. All right. All right, so where should I stop? Right. right there. Right here? All right, cool. Uh, where's the next one I should go? Uh, um, wait, wait, what does contrast do again? So contrast will be able to either like play, bring out some like the darker images, like the darkness of the tone of the image or it'll, it'll like make it more brighter. More so, kind of like in the darkness, like or wherever it. you see like dark stuff, it 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 add more like saturation. It add more like depth to your dark stuff in the image. So, for example, if I open it up, it'll start making those buildings more of a, a silhouette type of feel. Um, let's see. Let's see. You could turn the uh, contrast up a little bit. All right. Let me know when to stop. Right there. All right. Okay. So so far, this is what it's like before. That's what we did so far. Okay. What about any highlights or shadows? Mm. Some of the highlights I mean, that I like that all off. I don't think we should like add shadows. Okay. So we cool it on those. Yeah. Okay. Um. What about any of our whites? I guess the white's good. And then you got your blacks. So I remember blacks will make it dark. If you pull out the blacks, it'll make it more like robust or it'll open it up. Well, we could turn it like blacked up a little bit. So I'm going back this way or this way? Uh, uh Left. Okay, so more this way? Yeah. Okay, so just let me know when to stop. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay, that's where we was at before. That's where we at now. All right, so we're going to move over to our color tab. So do you want to make play with any of the temperature? Do you want to make it more cooler or warmer? Um, do you want to play with the tint to add more greens or purples? Do you want to pull out color, make uh, more color? I wanna make it wait, I wanna see how it is when it's cold. Alright. So that's temperature. So let me pull it over to the left. Let me know when to stop. Stop right there. Alright. So that's where it was before. That's where we are now. 
All right. Do you play any tints? Do you want to add any greens or any purples? Or you want to make it more of a blue? I want, I want to change it. Okay. Are you doing purples or, or greens? No, I, I want to change like the, the temperature. Oh, okay. You want to go back on the warm side? Yeah. Okay. So you let me know when you start. Okay, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Turn it down like a little bit. Okay. Like the heat a little bit. Okay, right there. All right. Cool. That was before. That's where we are now. It's pretty cool, man. Right? All right. So, any any tints? We doing any greens or purple, or you want to stay in this 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 feel right here? I don't I, I don't want to change the tint. I like it. I, I like to stay right here. Okay. So, do we want to make it more vibrant, or do we want to make it less vibrant? Where are you feeling? You feeling more more color, more like a boldness of it, or this is the kind of the range you want to stay in? And you want to move over to the effects? Uh, I want to like. Can I make it a little bit more vibrant? Mm -hmm. Just let me uh let me know when to stop. Uh. Okay, wait, go back, go back. All right, right there. Okay. All right, this was before. That's where we at now. All right. So now saturation. Like I said, it pushes more color or it'll pull out the color. Mm. In terms of since we already added color. Yeah. I like I like to like. It's good. Mm, I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for more, see if there's anything in the effect effects to it that we want to play with. Do we want to add any more texture? Do we want to make it we want to add more clarity to it? We want to add like a little bit more detail to the shot. I want to add more detail. Okay. You want to do texture or clarity? Texture. Okay. So you let me know when to stop. Okay, right there. Okay. Nice. You started you started playing with the the sky a little bit. Uh what about clarity? Um, wait, I wanna see how it is when when it's like turned up. Which one? The clarity? Yeah, the clarity. Okay. So let me know when to stop. Okay, stop. Okay. Nice. Um, turn it down a little bit. Okay, right there. Nice. Okay. So we have our dehaze. Do you want to play with that at all? Or are you cool on that? What does that do? So basically what it does, it gives you kind of like this haziness kind of and it's it'll, it'll make it brighter or on the other spectrum it'll make it darker but it'll start bringing out some colors and stuff that you kind of don't didn't necessarily see before hmm. i like to turn it up okay so let me know when to stop okay right so there you, cool that was before 
not as active. All right. Um, you want to add a vignette to it. Basically, what that would do is either it'll add like a white kind of border on the outside, kind of breaching in, or it'll darken the blacks. So if you see like, for example, the blacks is kind of like coming in, coming in, coming in, or this. <laughs> Or you can leave it as is. It's up to you. I want to leave it as is. Okay, right, perfect. And the last one, um, we have our detail. Basically, sharpening kind of just would add a little bit more. But if you, now if you start looking at the image, when I talked about how when we edit it and stuff like that, start to pull it. So if you look in the sky, we start to lose some stuff. So just keep that in mind as we get as we continue to start to add more detail, start to more pulling and chipping away at the image. Okay. Uh, I can turn up the sharpening a little bit. Okay. That's good. Okay, right there. Perfect. So that's all be so I go back, hold on to stop before, and that's all after. All right. So we're looking pretty good. Yeah. Dope. Good job, man. So that's what we started off with before. That's what we started with afterwards. Cool, man. Appreciate you walking me through that. All right. All right. So that is, did I get everybody? Huh? Let me make sure I got everybody. Cool. So yeah, I want to open this up. If anybody got any questions, any thoughts, any suggestions, uh, anything they may want to work on next time? This is the floor. No, I don't have no questions. All right. Any thoughts? Or how was that experience? Anything that um, that could have made this experience better? I don't know. I mean, I feel like it was fine, I guess. Okay. Anybody else? It was a good experience, and I had fun playing with the colors. Cool. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm excited to see what else you you come out with, which other pictures, or even if you want to change that one. And so in the chat, I'm going to put my email and you all can copy that down and feel free to send me your pictures. If I got any other questions outside of that, feel free to send them to me. Um, but if there's no other questions, that's the end of this particular class. And thank you all for your time. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for being attentive. And thank you all for just showing and being open to trying something different and editing in front of different people. Um, working on art and working on different things is not always easy to allow people into your creative process, but I appreciate you all being open and willing to do that, even in the space of the virtual realm. So I uh, appreciate you all, and I look forward to the next time. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. I'm going to send everybody out a, um, a link for the exit survey, okay? Okay. See you guys later. All right. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. All right, thanks, Bianca.